This video will discuss even and odd functions, which are of special use to us for the harmonic oscillator. Okay, an even function is functions that are of the form here that are graphed in this graph that labeled even, and odd functions labeled in the odd graph on the right. Even functions are functions where the following is true. f of x equals f of negative x. So this means that for every point x, y in the graph, there is a corresponding negative x, y, which is also a point in that function. So the even function has a symmetry where you can reflect it across the y-axis. So imagine this y-axis here being a mirror. These functions look the same on both sides of the y-axis on both sides of the mirror. So to get the even component of a function, f e of x, you take f of x plus f of minus x over 2. So if, if f e of x, the even component of the function, equals the entire function, then the function is said to be even. All right, so some examples of even functions would be uh, y equals 2, y equals x squared, y equals 4x to the fourth, x to the sixth minus x squared. So any even uh, powered polynomial or series of even powered polynomials, um, cosine kx, e to the minus alpha x squared, absolute value of x, one over x squared, all of these would be even functions and would fit this kind of thing. So this is a cosine function, this is a Gaussian function, that's a parabola, that's a constant. All of those are given as examples down there. And the special property of even functions, which makes them useful to us, is that the integral over all space, so minus infinity to infinity dx of an even function, is equal to 2 times the integral from 0 to infinity of that function. So this is true because the functions are equal on both sides of the axes here. So whatever the integral is from minus infinity to 0, it's the same integral from 0 to infinity. So if you know you have an even function, you can save yourself some work by integrating from 0 to infinity and multiplying by 2 instead of doing the, the integral from negative infinity to infinity. On the other hand, we have odd functions where f of x equals minus f of minus x. So for every point x, y in the graph, there's a corresponding point minus x minus y which is also in the graph. So the symmetry operation which relates these two points would be inversion through the origin. So all these points here, this is the origin, and we invert through the origin to the other side of it, and we always find a corresponding point at minus x minus y on the other side. So the odd component of a function you get by doing f of x minus f of minus x over 2. And if, f, and if the odd component of f of x equals f of x, then the function is entirely odd. Okay, some examples of odd functions are any odd ordered polynomial, x, 5x cubed, 1 over x, 1 over 2x cubed, um, also sine kx, uh, the tangent of x, x to the fifth minus 3x cubed plus 6x. And the nice property of odd functions is that whatever their integral is from 0 to infinity, it's the negative of that from negative infinity to 0. So whatever integral contribution is over here, it gets exactly canceled out over here. So the integral from minus infinity to infinity of the odd component of a function is equal to zero. All right, some more properties of even and odd functions that are of interest. An even function plus an even function is an even function. We see that here, where we have the two even polynomials summed together. Odd plus odd equals odd. Um, odd plus even is going to give you neither even nor, nor odd. It's going to give you something that has a component of both, so I don't have that one in there. Even times even equals even. So 2 is even, x squared is even. So 4 and x to the fourth are both even. Multiply them together, it's still even. Even times odd is still odd. So for example, the function 5 
uh, y equals 5 is even and y equals x cubed is odd. Even times odd equals odd. Odd times odd is going to give you even. So x times x cubed gives you x to the fourth. So odd times odd is going to give you even. The first derivative of with respect to x of an even function gives you an odd function. d dx of 4x to the sixth is 24x to the fifth. The derivative of an odd function is an even function. Derivative of cosine kx is minus k sine kx. So the derivative could be said to, or thought of as an odd operator because whatever it is, it changes the, uh, we could call, we could say the polarity of the function. It switches uh, evens to odds and odds to evens. So we'll make use of this in the next video with respect to the harmonic oscillator and see uh, why we would care about this uh, type of math at all.